Good morning. Welcome to day two of the 2021 USA Powerlifting Nationals. We have just started off our women's raw youth. Um, Elaine Jackson just did her first opening squat. Um, I know we have Aubrey Annabelle coming up. Good opener for Alexis. Three white lights. Good morning, Heather. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Good. Doing great. <laughs> Excited to start off a new day. Yeah. Yesterday I had an awesome day with our masters, and so we're kind of like, oh, and I think our boys' youth went yesterday. They did. Did you get a chance to watch them? I didn't. I saw all the celebration yesterday yes. afternoon. I love seeing all the, the males saying they were the strongest youth in the country. That was awesome. Super confident. There you go, Riley. Three white lights on platform two. Good. They're moving fast this morning. Yeah, watching the youth boy yesterday was really fun. Yeah. It's fun to see <laughs> the little kiddos. They're so strong. These girls are pretty composed. I was walking around in the warm-up room, and they were all pretty nervous. Focused or nervous? <laughs> I, I, there was a couple focused, but definitely a couple nerves. They'll get over that once this starts moving. Yeah. Waiting on our referee's coffee to kick in, I think, this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Those lights are a little slow. Yes. <laughs> All right, I've got Hannah Dittrich here. Nice. All right. All right. All right, Gia Griffith coming up. She's a fan fave, um, especially in Florida. She's from Florida here. Yep. Mm. Interesting to see what the referees call on that one. <coughs> yeah, I, I think she was a little high on that depth. She guarded it quite a bit. She's a super strong little girl, so I'm sure she'll come back and... Probably just nerves kicking yep, in. Yep, sink that in the hole. Echo Brady looks focused here. That was easy, hmm? Huh? Those spotters sure have a lot to do, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> they move so fast. Yep, yep. I spotted and loaded, I think, one time, and that was enough for me. <laughs> it became a referee instead. <laughs> 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 All right, clear. Yeah. Referees like that opener for her. Celeste has got some color on. Yes. I was in the warm-up room chatting with her. She does Olympic lifting, CrossFit, and powerlifting. Wow. Um, nice. I wonder if she has a sibling here. She I saw her around here yeah. yesterday. Yeah, sure. I think, I think she may have a brother. Okay. Maybe. Probably competed a little bit yesterday. Yep. We, um, I don't want to let any cats out of the bag. Expect a big bench from her later. Elaine Jackson, she's actually our youngest lifter, female lifter this morning um, at nine years old. Super tiny, but strong. You know, I often wondered how they get started that young. Do you have any insight on that? Absolutely. Um, my daughter actually was a able to be a part of the first ever youth nationals in Colorado. We had our first one. Um, she had been a guest lifter at our South Carolina meets. Uh, a couple of times and just waiting to be able to compete um, which you couldn't do until you were eight and then um, they had a first ever youth nationals in Colorado the Godros put it on did a fantastic job um, BJ and I actually were talking about how much the sport has grown for youth in just the past couple years 
So do they get any of this in school? I would think that the elementary schools are probably not equipped to handle. Nope, uh, absolutely you know. not. Um, I have seen recently, I think it's Texas, is really getting on board with youth um, lifting. Um, probably not at the high school, uh, not at the elementary level, but I would definitely think um, middle school may be starting to come into that as we're trying to, let me say, groom uh, these youth who want to lift into better high school athletes and going ahead and preparing them. So I would think maybe a nice lot of patience, the youth. Nice patience, Aubrey. Yeah, Riley did great over here. Let's too. see. Let's see what the referees say with Aubrey's. Nice. She fought through that. Good deal. So I would think a lot of the youth probably have parents that are somehow associated. Either home gyms or... Uh, local like CrossFit boxes, something of that nature that allow youth to come in and lift. Um, I, I do believe it's becoming more and more popular for gyms to allow younger age individuals to come in and lift. Hannah's looking for 70 here. Ooh. Let's see how that went here. Oh no. Three white lights. All right, so Alexander actually just left her bar in the spotters and loaders' hands. That's something we oh. want to really try and not do. She wasn't going to get the lift, and she just ducked out from under the bar. Um, we should really encourage all athletes, including the youth, to stay with that bar at all times uh, for the safety of our spotters and loaders. Yeah, you know, we think of the spotters and loaders as a safety for the athletes, but it goes both ways. Yes, absolutely. And these, these spotters and loaders are volunteers. They're not paid to do this, and a ton of them are actual lifters. Well, most of them are lifters themselves. Let's see what Gia does. That's it, Gia. Nice. Nice Marks job. Through. Yep. It looked better on her depth. Yes, and the referees liked it. Yeah, most of our spotters and loaders are actual lifters and so they're either going to compete later in the week maybe they've already competed or they have events coming up so we certainly don't want to ruin their training by leaving our bars in their hands echo's going after 82 and a half here echo came with a a group wow yeah, that was she, super she fast that look <laughs> <laughs> um and actually, I was looking at her Instagram, and she um, actually likes uh, rock climbing, it looks like, kind of like bouldering. Oh, yeah. um, I'm not sure of the exact terminology of that, but. That's pretty unique. Yeah. I know back home in Minnesota, we have it's clear. Um, facilities they can go to and do the fake rock climbing. Oh, yeah. And that's what I, I think I saw her doing some of that. Okay, Celeste, so let's see this, 102.5. Good focus. She definitely has that high bar or crossfitter-ish kind of yes. squat for sure, throwing that head up in the air and looking up. Three whites, good job. She hurt, she got her hip flexors or something, so she actually wasn't able to train lower body for a long time, so that's a pretty good squat for not being able to lift. Lane Jackson taking her third attempt squat, and it looked beautiful. Referees liked it. Kylie going after 50 over here. It's so important that they wait for those commands. <coughs> it's definitely something that you have to get used to. You used to just rushing through. I think that's a big thing for youth when they start listening is it's super important to Encourage those athletes to just listen. Nice. You hear the coaches reminding them because the nerves are through the roof. Right. Even, shoot, even us adults <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> remind me that I'm supposed to wait. Yeah, they can have a perfect lift, but if they aren't listening to those commands, they, they're going to red light. Nice. Way to go, Alexis. Let's see what they say. Perfect. Three white lights. They sure are moving fast through these, they aren't are they? flying. <coughs> oh. 
Nice attempt, Aubrey. She would have grind through that. She may have gotten some up and down call on the on the bar. So it was a good good try there. Helps that the spotters or loaders are able to load these bars rather quickly at the moment. Right. Makes things roll super fast. Doesn't give the athletes a lot of time to rest, though. So that's, that's true. Only downfall to that's that. That's true. I do notice they do a lot of uh, talking to the athlete, too, though. I think they're encouraging. and Love that. Love yes. that. There's nothing, nothing better, really, than a good old back spot that's just screaming in your ear the whole yeah. time. Well, and wow. they're probably so focused they don't hear other people, either. <laughs> so it's really close to them. <coughs> All right, Taylor. 75 here. Nice. Yeah. That was a good third attempt. I think she's still got some left in the tank. Sure yeah. looks like it. Good job. She is coming up. Her dad back there clapping his hands. You know, one of the things I have a hard time as a newer athlete to this sport is the conversion from kilogram to, to pounds. I, I like, I, I just double it and know that I'm coming <laughs> close. <laughs> down, down. Oh, oh. For sure, huh? good try. Yeah. Although that her, she's walking off, she may seem a little disappointed, but her dad is just encouraging her the whole way. So that's huge. That is. <clears throat> All right, Echo Brady's coming back up. 95 is a pretty heavy. Everyone here, let's see what she can do. She's been real strong, real easy lifts. 209 pounds Wow. for a 13-year-old. Oh. Oh, she was so close, so close. Looks like Claire may be breaking an American record over here. They just put the chips on the bar. Oh. Those, those sit on the, um, oh yeah, here we go. They're getting her height. She's 10 years old, I believe. Wow. And 80.5 is how many pounds? 80.5 is 176 pounds. So, and she's a 40 kilo lifter. Wow, good job. Yes, look at that. That's American amazing. record falling. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Good job, Karen. Wow, that was beautiful. Our coach carrying her off there. Yeah, so she was 88 pounds. That's incredible. <laughs> I think where she'll be years from now. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. I wish I would have started so much sooner. I didn't Don't start till I was 30. And uh, I've grown so much in just a few years, so I, yeah. Well, you've been lifting Skits. for what, seven did you say? Uh, eight, roughly eight years okay. um, coming up. So yeah, December will be eight years. So there's a, a lot to learn in, well, even just your first year. Right. Um, let alone eight years. <laughs> you had a lot of uh, bad wow. CrossFit habits to get rid of. <laughs> Parker had an extremely close stance there. That was incredibly interesting. CrossFit, CrossFit has a great, uh, gives you a great base for sure. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of differences in the technical side of lifting when it comes to the difference between CrossFit and power for sure. So yeah, absolutely. I've learned so much in the last year. I've got a really great trainer. Do you train out of a CrossFit box? I do not. I okay. train out of a fitness center. Okay. Um, you know, and I, I'll drop in other other places as well, but um, my trainer is really great. She's a competitor herself. Okay. And, uh, has taught me a lot. Very cool. But it did take, you know, it took some while to get rid of some of those bad habits. Yeah. <laughs> nice opener for Layla over here. I think that so far most of these openers have looked like openers. They're supposed to be fairly easy. We like to say something that you can rep out three times um, pretty much on the worst day of your life. So like right. your dog died, you have diarrhea, and you can yeah. still lift the weight. <laughs> well, my trainer says with the flu. Yes, there you go, which is bad. 
Jasmine, look at that cute hair she's got. Yes, she's all matchy and pink. I, I guess love that it. Might be her favorite color, huh? I love it. <laughs> she got that lift. Right, Drew. Drew's got good focus over here. Yeah, she Drew actually came with the crew with her trainer and a, I think a couple of males that competed yesterday. Um, she trains out of Colorado. Okay. Um, she has a massive total. <laughs> oh, that's great. Massive total. Um, so actually she and another girl are tied coming into this with a 267 kilo total, um, which is huge for a 13-year-old. So you're talking, let's see, 589 total. Wow. So they're, that that's just blows that's, my mind. That's way more than I can do. <laughs> let's see what Sierra's referees think about that squat. Okay. They liked it. Uh, easy opening for Ava. <coughs> so if two lifters lift exactly the same weight, then it goes to their body weight, right? Whoever has the lowest body weight? Yeah, so if, if one of them has the body, uh, lowest body weight, then um, they clearly are are the strongest now if they happen to weigh in the exact same which happens um then it goes to lot number oh and really? uh, yeah That's interesting. yeah so it there's a they've come up with a few ways to be able to determine if all of these things happen then who gets to hold the record or and the title and at the end of the day it comes down to the lot number which is a random a draw number mm -hmm. yep interesting yep Olivia's got a five kilogram jump here from her first lift. Let's see how she does. All right, Kensington Darby. She is um, starting off with American record. Wow. Yep. How old is Kensington? Uh, she is 10. Yep, maybe she's 10. Good for her. Look at that body weight. She's super tiny, 47 kilos. So 104 pounds or under. It doesn't give her exact body weight. So they have a minute to get on the platform. She took a little bit of a pause there. Let's I'll go, Kenzie. Take your time. Well, look at that. Nice. nice. American record. She That's made that look beautiful. Easy. American record on her opener. That's incredible. Let's see where she ends up, right? Yeah. I was um, looking at her Instagram. I think it's their family's Instagram. And uh, it looked like it's in their family garage. And maybe dad or somebody is spotting, back spotting her with a baby um, on his back. Oh. And like <laughs> 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 they had the whole crew going on there. I loved it. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it's nice to see them get encouragement like this in a newer sport. I don't know what's the delay on our second platform over here. Hmm. Same last name. I'm, I'm curious if these ladies were sisters. She had this really narrow stance, squat stance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but they're sisters. They have a completely different <laughs> setup. Um, that was that was awesome. All right, Olivia, let's see if it's all right. Oh yeah, clearly more yeah. in the tank there. Right. She's gonna be a beautiful squatter. That setup is awesome. Yes. Yeah, super fast. Carly's coming out on platform one for her second attempt. All right, nice. A little bit of slow in the middle, but she's got plenty left for a third there. These spotters and loaders, swear, they are on it. They <laughs> are. <laughs> I'm guessing they've done it. Good golly. The spotters are definitely way ahead of something over here on two. They're waiting around quite a bit. 
All right, Leila. Somebody was making jokes that uh, hopefully the spotters and loaders weren't going to be too big today because they're going to have to squat real low for these. Right, for the littles. <laughs> ladies. There you go, Jasmine. She fought through that middle. And the referees liked it. Yeah, the spotters definitely get a lot of air squats in for the day. <laughs> I, I volunteered a little bit as a spotter myself, and I did two back-to-back -back yep. days, oh which God. by the end of the <laughs> second day, <laughs> you need a nap. Yep. Hardest part was adjusting the rack heights for the males that were super right. tall. Like, my, my armpit was sore from, like, hanging <laughs> on the jack yep. part. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Drew. 81 kilograms over here. Nice. nice. All right. Hey, she she hit that goes. rack. Um, there is a part of your rules that you... Okay. They gave it to her. One judge, probably this side, um, that gave her the red was the side that, the, that she rode the rack up. Okay. So they could have very well, that is a part of our rules. You can't utilize the rack to support the weight. And I could see why he made that call if that was why he threw that red for sure. I can't see. Normally we have uh, color cards out there, but those aren't showing up on our screen. And then I would be able to tell you with somewhat certain certainty why he uh, threw that red. But I'm pretty sure that's probably why. Well, and that's why we have three judges too, because yep. the perspective of these judges is uh, very important. Yep. Catherine made that look easy. Yeah, so did Ava. Good. Let's see what the judges say. Yep, they liked it. I didn't get the white lights over here. Let's see why they're Yeah, ours low. rolled through real fast, too. Okay, go. good lift. <laughs> I wonder if they had to consult on that one. <laughs> That's always like nail biting. You're like, did I get it or did I not? <laughs> When we started with the boys yesterday, there was something wrong with the lighting system, so they had to give the thumbs up. Bless it. Instead of the lights. Really? Yeah, it just well, for a short period day of one, time. Let me tell yeah. you, day one, trying to get all the lights, all the computers working, um, sound. It's, it's amazing being behind the scenes. There's a lot that goes into these. So much, so much. And not just the two days before either. It's the right. year-long planning of the venue and uh, All right, takes Kensington, a lot of people. Kensington's coming up. She opened with American record. My guess is she's resetting her own American record here. I'm surprised they didn't announce. That. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice fight through, and she waited good. I noticed uh, her, her knees come in quite a bit. I'm wondering if she'd get a little more power if she pushed those legs out a little bit. Yeah, and, and that out. sometimes that's a cueing thing from her coach. They just need to work on that, like, cueing of driving the knees out. She's a high bar squatter, so muscle imbalances are surely kicking in at the moment. Yep, still setting records. That's yep. incredible. <laughs> <laughs> When we're doing max lifts, a uh, form sometimes goes out the window. It can <laughs> look true. like trash. <laughs> yeah, all it only takes to get it up, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> I wish I knew what was going on on the second platform over here. Oh, that was deep. Wow. Wow, Parker. She is not leaving it <laughs> no, in the referee's hands for that. Exactly. Super mobile there in those hips. Very close stance. But I'll sometimes allows for the more mobility. It'll be fun to watch these kids age and uh, progress. Love this. Carly's third attempt. She's deep too. Uh, fight, Carly fight. Pushed. Nice. Way to push through <laughs> it. 57.5, so it's a just over body weight squat there. 126. Okay, we have action over here on platform two. Let's go, Olivia. 72.5. She looks like a strong girl, that's she for sure. She does. Good focus. Yeah. Nice, oh, nice. Makes it look so easy. Beautiful set. I wish I could squat like that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. All right, Jasmine. 
There you go. go nice go, push go. back. She drove that bar back, and it came straight up. That was awesome. Uh, almost double body weight squat there, so that was huge. Seemed like she doubted that weight a little bit on the way down. She, she tried to cave those yeah. knees in almost to catch it. And then just couldn't. Super deep, though. So I think if they keep working on that control of that bar, she'll come back and crush that weight. Nice and slow. Mm. Uh, yeah, had she made that, that may have been called for being a little bit high. See her on Instagram. Uh, do you know she's a sumo puller, so I'll be excited oh to see her yes. set up later. I cannot wait to see what this girl totals today. Yeah, I hope she did. Wow. Yeah, she had a hard time getting low on that one, yeah. too. That's all right. Third attempts sometimes are... That's the, that's the only jump she could make, so uh, she did what she could. Just didn't ha quite have that one in the tank. Still got quite a bit of weight there. Nice, what, nice that was a beautiful that third for her. She finished three for three there on those squats. Kind of argue a little bit, you know, should, should these girls be missing lifts? Uh, what is that going to do to them later on in the event? Does it um, make them not want to push so hard, make them sad so they don't compete as well right. or should we full send because we're at nationals you know that's so true yeah it's all I, i'm sure their coach has each one has a different um, perspective oh, hey, look uh, at that that's incredible <laughs> good for her what's that about 250 yep yep we'll see 112 that's great you're gonna be 248 yep Beautiful. on the money kensington here we go she's going to attempt to break that american record for the third time here she set it on her first, broke it on her second, and we're going for it again on our third. Nice step. <sighs> oh, yeah, just couldn't get that up. Nice try, though. She Two did American absolutely records. fantastic. So Beautiful. roughly 200 proud. pounds is what she was going for. Um, well, like you were saying earlier, you know, it can get in their head if they miss that third one, but yep. boy, to come out with two American records, uh, that's not going to get in her head <laughs> at all. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Anything for the better. Yeah. Well, I think we'll break now and uh, come back with the bench. Take a couple minutes.